We'll get to Mars in what? Half hour. We'll get to Mars. You How step through the, warp, through the through the warp drive. drive. Yeah. If you get there, and maybe through a wormhole. You may just step through the doorway, like like uh, like in uh, Doctor Who, and you wind up here on Mars. How do we go through a wormhole? We just walk through it. How do you go through? You walk through it. How do we make one? Well, how do we make one? That's what we're, that's that's what the experiment. I want to put speed. They put speed bumps. That's, so that's Sam in his Lamborghini. He just no, left. no, no. That's that's uh, some some asshole in a motorcycle. But the point is this: that the the experiment that they're going to do at Lawrence Livermore, testing that equation, is the first step toward making a wormhole. If that works, then we we you know we're, we we now. If it doesn't work, we have to go back to the drawing board see why it didn't work. So yeah, it's called ma it's manipulating the fabric of space time. Anything you you you, you know you warp you change the shape of the gravitational field up it's a wormhole. So I mean, they're going at Lawrence Livermore. They're going to test your equation. Yeah, they test when, one of the they're, they're testing one version. There's a simplified toy model. They're not testing the general theory. They're testing a particular uh, application of the general theory based on certain assumptions that are very simple for, for a homogeneous plasma, for simple, it's not a metamaterial. Metamaterial is more complicated. Metamaterial, you know, is not homogeneous, it's not isotropic, and it changes time. This is for a plasma, heavy ion plasma. You read the paper, and they're testing it to see if it works there, okay? Okay. And if it works, then it's a sufficient proof of concept. If it doesn't work, it's not good, but... It's also we've learned some that, that that particular application of the general theory is the wrong way to go. At least it doesn't uh -huh. work for a plasma. Okay. Okay. So they've tested some of it. Now what they're testing, they got this huge machine and they got these beams of heavy ions. They're smashing them together in a like uh, uh, a tenth of a millionth of a cubic meter, tenth of a, millionth, a tiny little volume bubble, right. <clears throat> and. They're going to create a gravitational field that's 16,000 times the Earth's. In other words, you would weigh, if you were in the little guy in the bubble, your weight would be 16,000 times your Earth weight. Wow. 16,000. What would and, that do to time? Well, that's a good question. You know. but, um, and, uh, and it's going to, uh, yeah, that's a very good question, actually. There'll be a time distortion, maybe. I got, actually, thank you. I'll calculate that. Uh, but I did, I was, I was worried about whether it would make a black hole, which might be bad. Mm. And Haven't I've they already made a black hole in no, a lab? No, no, no. They've done what I call simulations, where they simulate. It's like a, it's like a, it's a computer simulation of a black hole okay. using metamaterials, but there's not a physical black hole. This would be a physical black hole. So I checked. It turns out, even with their tremendous energies, what they're doing, it's nowhere near a black hole. But it, but it is sixteen thousand Earth g, and the curvature, what's called the curvature, is. 10 to the 22 times the curvature at the surface of the Earth. Now, if the Earth makes a certain curvature here, it's very weak. It's like, it turns out it's very weak. But this is 10, 22 powers of 10 stronger curvature, according to the numbers that they've calculated. But it's still not a black hole. It doesn't make a black hole. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. You explained a little bit about the, when we were talking about the warp drive, that um, we would, you would need very little power you, yeah. The power okay. supply, you now, can do it with, should a, we, should we try, with a Duracell uh, battery. Yeah, should we try? Okay, let me, let me, let me see. Do I have? Hang on a minute. <clears throat> okay, can you see this? Tell me if you see this. Yes. Yep. Do you see the whole, whoop, get, hold that, it's going to fall. Yeah, get it. I don't know what happened. Okay, hit it. Okay, so you see this? Nope, you got it too. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is Einstein's gravity field equation. Okay. Okay. And you see that thing called a capital G divided by C to the fourth? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the coupling. Capital G is what's called Newton's constant of gravitation. The little C in the denominator there to the fourth power, that's the vacuum speed of light. Okay. Okay. Now, just mathematically, now, guys, you have to know some math, high school math. If you let that C in the denominator get small, okay, if you let the denominator get small, then that coefficient G over C to the fourth gets bigger. 
There's one, you know, in the if you let the denominator go to zero, eventually you go to zero. You, that's infinity. One, one over zero is infinity. <laughs> so in general, when if you haven't been totally dumbed down by the Communist Party making Americans stupid, oh, and the one they say now math is gender, math is white privilege. Don't teach math because you make blacks look dumb. And what the fuck are you? I mean, you not out of your fucking minds? Yes, you are. You won't bastards. <laughs> fuck them. Okay, I don't have to give oh, my them. God. All right, all right. No, but seriously. Yeah. They're making us stupid. Uh-huh. <laughs> Russians right. are laughing at us. Yeah. Yeah, well, critical race theory bullshit. You're the real racist. We're not the racist. <laughs> Assholes. You all see? right, so what the hell does this mean? So, well, here the speed is, is 300,000, uh, 300 million meters per second. But the point is, inside the metamaterial... It's not really the speed, but it's as if the speed is being going down to zero. And since the speed is going down to zero, the coefficient itself is getting big. So this is the warp field. This is the gravity field you want to control. Oh, lift it up. Lift it up higher. Oh, okay. The G. The G, the big G here, G mu nu, that's the warp field. Okay. Okay? Got it. Okay. This is the energy re needed, the power. The T, the big the capital T, that's the energy needed, okay? Okay. So you want to have you want to have for the tic tac to do whatever it's gonna do, it requires a certain amount of G. Okay. Whatever that is G. You keep that fixed. Okay. You make the effect of C a lot smaller. And since G is fixed and this is getting bigger, the coefficient is getting bigger, that gets small. That's the idea. This is the amount of energy you need. So it's only because it's only because G was small and C was so big that they couldn't get it to work. But in the metamaterial, you can make the effect of C very small, and then you get the amount of G you need for a very small amount of energy. It's just math. It's a it's the math of a hyperbola. You get that? You know, and and you see the fact that most people can't get that is why America is going down. Because, mm. because, but see, the Russians, the Chinese kids get it. Mm -hmm. The Russian kids know it. For them, it's nothing. But for most Americans, it's something. And that's why we have been defeated. And we're going to be defeated. Can you give me a beautiful, yeah, yeah, look, look, can look. you give me a beautiful analogy to understand that? No, no, no. But this is an equation. This is what the- Higher, equation. a little bit higher. Z equals XY. Hold it up yeah. higher. Z equals XY, right? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you want to have Z fixed. So this is, okay, you want to have a fix Z. You want to fix Z. Yeah, wait, wait, you can't hear you because you're not talking to the mic. Okay. This is the, this is the basic, this is Einstein's equation in the simplest terms. Okay. Z equals XY. Z equals XY. What is Z? Z, Z is the gravity field. Z is the gravity field. It's the warp field. That's the propulsion field that you want. Okay. okay. The tic-tac warp field is Z. Okay. Okay. Y is the energy you need, based, the power you know the, the 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 how much voltage? Okay, why is the volts the power? How much? How big a battery you need is why? Okay, okay. X involves that capital G over C to the fourth power. The coupling. That's the coupling. The transmission. So to be. That's the transduction. How an input Y is the the voltage input, and then you know. Uh, okay, do you know Ohm's law? What the resistance? If okay, if you have a voltage. And if you increase the resistance, you get a smaller current. But if you, if for the same voltage, but if I lower the resistance, like a superconductor, I get a bigger current, right? So in the same way here, what we're doing, the whole trick is with the metamaterial, we're making X big, Z. Can you see this? No. Yeah. Now we can okay. see it. What the trick is, you keep Z fixed. Z is how much warp power do you want? How much warping of the space-time do you want? That's Z. You keep that fixed because you, there's a certain amount you want to escape the Earth, let's say. Okay. I'm, I'm always, okay. <clears throat> and uh, Y is how much voltage you need on your on your Tesla battery inside the UFO. Yeah, how, how much power? I mean, how many, you know, what are they, oh, kilowatts of power. You know, the, the what do they call it? You know, you buy... You, the the battery lasts a certain number of miles. Yeah. Depending, okay. So that's that. That that's what Y is. 
How big a battery? How big uh, does Elon Musk have to make your battery? How much range do they get in these UFOs? For well, wait a recharge? minute. First, let's just get the idea. Okay. okay the, don't ask me that, that. So I'm just making an analogy now. You know, don't take it too literally. So now, but an X, X is the coupling. That's where the metamaterial comes in. When we make X big, we make X big keeping Z fixed. So you make X big, keeping Z fixed, that means Y gets less. Right. Y is a matter of battery power. <clears throat> ah, I got it. Okay, so that's the idea. That's the trick. That's the idea of warp drive. So what the point is, everybody, all these smart assholes, like Ed Witten, <laughs> they think that you can't change X. They can't change that. They say X is fixed, you can't do anything about it. That's why they don't believe any of this. They don't think you change X. What is X again? X is the coupling of the of the voltage to the to the warp drive. Okay. Okay. X. Okay. What is X? Is like a X is the engine. Okay. X is the engine. X is the engine. I understand that. Okay. So so uh, I I okay. X is like the horsepower of the engine. Okay. Okay. And Y is how much gasoline you need. Okay. How much gas? Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So the higher. Oh, okay. No. No. X is the efficiency of the engine. The efficiency. The efficiency, of the you know, the efficiency. The more efficient the engine, the, the for the certain amount of horse. This is like the amount of horsepower out. <clears throat> okay, the horsepower is like the warp. Okay. okay. So, so as as you make the engine more efficient, you need less fuel uh, to get the, the amount of horsepower, right? Or something like that. Yeah, you know, you know. Right. Uh, I'm not, maybe that violates energy conservation. I'm, not, I'm trying to make analogies. You know, people get it. But the point is this. Look, it's simple mathematics. As Z is fixed, you make X big for Z fixed, Y gets small. Okay, there's a graph. It's called a hyperbola. Okay, let me just draw a graph. This is X and this is Y. I'll make it red, and this is called, this is Z fixed. This is it, man. This is it. So. A little higher. <clears throat> this, is for, this is for fixed Z. That red curve is called the curve of hyperbola. Okay. And you can see which way. So when X is getting small, what does it mean for X to get small? X to get small, you're moving toward the origin. That's This is zero, right? Uh -huh. X is getting small, so it goes X and and Y is going up there. Y is the uh, or the other way around. I have the other way around. Fix it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I want it to go the other way around. I want. Uh, oh, okay. No. I'm starting. No. X X starts off small. I got to just X X starts off here, and X is going there. So Y. Is getting small. Why is the amount is the amount of energy you need? Okay, that's it. So this is you know that's basically this curve. It's the curve hyperbola. That's the it. Curve hyperbola. Yeah, this is hyperbola. See now, this is I want to tell you something. In Russia and in China, even in they used to be I don't know if it, in France, the kids learn this when they're ten years old. A ten year old kid, your your kid should be knowing this by now. By the time they're eleven or twelve, for sure. Oh, okay. Okay, and the fact that most Americans don't know this is why we're going under. This is the biggest national security threat. Is that the average American kid, like you guys, who are pretty smart, don't know basic mathematics? <laughs>